What is up gamers? It's Electrified DVD back with another video. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Just a quick informational video again on my opinion. Again, as you say as you see in the title, this is my opinion, so nobody get upset over this. Um, I think all the E abilities are good for every agent. This is my opinion on how good they are, which is gonna differ from a lot of people, so please don't get hurt, and it's definitely not a perfect list. And again, before we get in, please subscribe, like, and I did actually just make a Discord server. The link will be in the description, so please go check that out. Everyone's welcome to join, and hopefully we'll all have a good time there. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, last on our list at 14 is the Viper Wall. Now, this isn't a bad ability in itself, but compared to all the other E abilities, it doesn't do much, and it also takes away from your poison as a whole, so you need to be really good at Viper to manage this. You need some good lineups and stuff, so it definitely can be a good ability. However, there's a lot better E abilities to do. Alright, at number 13 on our list, we have Brimstone Smoke, and now you may be thinking, well, Electrified, this is a good ability. What are you putting it so low? And it is a good ability. However, it does cost money, and there's definitely a lot better E abilities. Um, it is pretty good, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it's as good as some of the other abilities, because you have to buy them, he only gets three, and yeah. So next on our list, we have Yoru Teleport. Again, this is a very strong ability, however, the best ways you can make use of it are, you know, teleporting right behind the enemy and doing one of those cool plays, but they rarely ever work and they're just good for YouTube clips, or teleporting away from the enemy when you need to, but you stand still for a couple, se for like a half a second or so, when the enemy can just shoot you down. So especially in the higher ranks, you're not going to be able to do those plays, and so that's why it's ranked so low on this list. At number 11, we have Sky Flash. And again, this is an extremely powerful flash, especially for information. However, the Hawk can be shot, as well as the flash can be pretty easily dodged. You know where they're coming from. And there's only three of them. You also have to buy them as well. And there's a lot stronger abilities and flashes on this list. Next, at number 10, we have Omen Smoke. Now, we rank this higher than Brimstoke because you don't have to buy it. And it recharges. So you can, the longer the round goes on, the more smokes you get. Now, it technically is a smaller smoke than brimstones and as a character i think brim is better than omen simply because omen's paranoia is so much but we're not ranking agents we are ranking their e abilities and i do think omen smoke is a very strong ability so then at number nine we have sage heal if this was before the buff i would have ranked sage heal as one of the highest abilities however it's been nerfed um for yourself it only heals a little bit and takes a long time for others it doesn't even heal that much so it's just, it's not the same as it was. It's still a very strong ability, but it's just not as good, and it takes a while to recharge. At number eight on the list, we have Breach Flash. It's got three of them. They do a lot. Um, half the time you get killed when you have them out, um, and half the time you flash your whole team. But they are really strong abilities if you use them. You also have to buy them, though, so as well. So that's why it's a little bit lower on this list. At number 7, we have the Killjoy Turret. And this is an extremely strong ability. Killjoy Turret, you can recall it. You can use multiple. Gives you tons of information and does damage. And it can be very, very annoying to kill. I've definitely died to a Killjoy Turret more than once, sadly. But it's not as good as some of these other abilities, which is why it's ranked number 7. Number six, we have Cypher Cam. Cypher's camera, you can place it in all these crazy spots and ping an enemy so you know where they are. You can see a bunch of enemies exactly where they are and ping them. So, kill them, you just get a general idea. There could be one, there could be more. Cypher, you know exactly how many there is. Um, it is a bit easier to shoot, but if you put it in a good spot, it's hard to see. So, this cam is good, but again, there's some limitations, and so we had to put it at number six. Number five, we have Phoenix's Molly. <laughs> And, or his hot hands, but Phoenix's Molly is really good. Number one, he heals himself, and then you get two kills and it recharges, and it can also block off, it works as a Molly where it does a lot of damage, so you can throw it on Spike, you can throw it on Exorcist to stop a push, a bunch of things that it's useful for, but it's still not as good as some of the other abilities in the top four, but we had to put it at number five. Now we're getting into some of the good abilities. Number four, Jet Dash. And... Jet Dash, I think, fits perfectly in number four because it is an extremely powerful ability, especially if you're using the Operator. You can instantly dash any way, and it just... You can get out of any situation, especially if you're opping, you get a quick pick and then dash back. It's just, it gets you out of situations, it can even get you into situations, it, it can just line up, line up crazy plays. There's still the glitch on Icebox that they haven't patched where you dash and updraft and get way high on the map. You know, there is a ton of uses for this jet dash, but it doesn't break into the top three. And now getting into number three is the Sova 
dart, the recon dart. And this is so good because if you know lineups, you can shoot this thing all over the map. And it's just an incredibly powerful thing so you can spot out tons of people, know where they are, wall bang them, all that stuff. Very, very good. It can be shot very quickly, but you have to have good aim and timing to do that. So in the lower ranks, very powerful, still very powerful in the higher ranks, but not as so as in the lower ranks. And you gotta know your lineups. However, it is still a very, very strong ability. Number two, we have the raise nade. I mean, come on, this thing, when you get a kill with it, it even sets one on your kill timer, so then you only have to get one more kill and you get it back. It can kill people, you can stop people from planning, stop people from defusing, you can stop a push, it does a ton of damage. It's a very, very powerful ability if you know how to use it right. And at number one, you might have guessed it, it is Reyna's Heal and Dismiss. Now, people might say, you know, well, that isn't totally your E key, your E key is a Dismiss. Even so, the Dismiss, you get a kill and you get instantly out of any situation. You get a kill, you can heal if you're counting that ability as well. It's just so, so strong. And you get at least one of them every round and they're very cheap so you can buy more. The Heal and Dismiss is just so strong. You can heal yourself to full and get shield back so quickly and then you can dismiss get in and out of situations very very easily it's just an insanely strong ability for a very very good solo queue agent and yeah that's about it that's my list of the best e keys or e abilities in valorant and i hope you guys enjoy it again it's all just fun obviously my list isn't perfect you can tell me what you think in the comments but you know it is just opinion and i'm obviously not a pro so my opinions are going to be very different from some other people's so with that said uh, make sure you check out all my socials subscribe again there is a discord server link in the description go check that out and yeah that's pretty much it thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one